In this lesson, we'll talk about how we can get our projects back and forth between Mudbox and Maya. So let's say that we have our project here in Mudbox and we'd like to now transfer it to Maya to render for some other uh, work that we need to do to it. So we could go ahead and take the geometry, export that as an OBJ, uh, bring that geometry into Maya, save out all of our texture files, reassemble all of that data uh, in Maya to get our project going. Uh, but we could also use an FBX to do that. So if we go under File, you can see we have uh, Export Selection. So if we were to go ahead and choose our T-Rex and go to Export Selection, we can actually choose between an OBJ or an FBX to actually export that. And we saw uh, previously that we could bring in an FBX with uh, the bones and the weighting data all in there. We can also use it to transfer our models with textures and everything attached. There are a few options that we can change here in the preferences under FBX. Okay, we can choose to a uh, export an ASCII FBX. We can also export our sculpt layers as blend shapes. So if you uh, you have a uh, some sort of a, a creature or a face or something in here, and you model something on a blend on a uh, sculpt layer. Once you actually export that, all of those layers will actually be brought into Maya as blend shapes. So they'll all be hooked up and everything. So you can just go right in and start tweaking those blend shapes, dialing those sliders up and down, uh, and just using the sculpt layers. Uh, we can also uh, have options for flattening the paint layers. So if we have a number of uh, paint layers within the different channels, we can choose to flatten those on export. We can also choose whether or not we want to actually send those paint layers at all. Uh, on the export, uh, importing materials and textures if we want to do that, also importing the joints. So there are a number of options here. And so what we can do is actually, you saw how we could import the FBX and we can also export that. So that makes it a little bit easier to go back and forth. But there's an even easier way that we can transfer this to specifically Maya in this case. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just deselect everything here. And I also want to make sure that uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the bump for now so that we have that normal map. And I'm down here on level two with a normal map on. And I want to, let's say, export this out to Maya. So all we're going to do is go to File and Send to Maya is the option we're going to choose. So we'll go ahead and activate that. It's going to bring up this uh, option, these options here. So we can either send all meshes or selected meshes only. We don't have anything selected, so we'll just go ahead and send all meshes. That'll send the teeth as well. Okay, and it's going to say, if there are paint layers, what do you want to do? Do you want to not send the paint layers? Do you want to flatten them in each channel before sending? Or do you want to send the paint layers separately? And it's giving us a warning that this may not look the same. So we'll go ahead and choose to flatten the paint layers in each channel before we send this over to Maya. And it's also giving us the option, if there are sculpt layers, what do you want to do? Do you want to flatten the sculpt before, the, before sending, or do you want to export those sculpt layers on the current mesh level as Maya blend shapes? So we don't have any sculpt layers right now, so we'll go ahead and just use flatten sculpt layers before sending. And then we'll just choose to send. All right, so assuming you have Maya loaded up on your machine, it will probably give you some sort of a warning that says, do you want to... Uh, save changes to untitled scene. So in this case, I had an uh, untitled scene open, and it's asking me if I want to save that because it's trying to open a new file. So I don't want to save that. So I'll go ahead and say no to that. And let's go ahead and open up Maya. So this is Maya that it's opened up and uh, brought the scene into. So I'll go ahead and go into the perspective. Let's just frame in on that. And so you can see here is our dinosaur. It's a wireframe. Let's go ahead and turn on smooth shading. Okay, now I want to make sure that we've got some maps associated with this. We can see that the pose came in and the geometry came in fine. Let's see what else came in. So if we go to shading, we'll turn on hardware texturing. You can see that the texture map actually came in. Okay, now if we go to our renderer and turn on high quality rendering, we'll see if our normal map came in as well. And it looks like it did. Okay, so now we have our normal map loaded up into Maya. And just with one push of a button, we were able to do that. You can see that there's the geometry there as well. And also in Maya 2011, we also have the ability to actually export selected back to Mudbox. So we have that back and forth ability as well. Okay, so again, we can use our FBX import and export to get geometry back and forth. But we can also, from Mudbox, just with a single click, choose to send our project over to Maya, and it will send it right over with the maps hooked up, including the normal map. 
All right. Well, this brings us to the conclusion of the Artist's Guide to Mudbox 2011. I want to give a sincere thank you to Autodesk and also to you. I really hope you enjoyed the training. And if you'd like to go a little bit more in-depth uh, with Mudbox, please check out digitaltutors.com for all the latest Mudbox training, as well as training for a variety of 2D and 3D applications. Thank you so much. Enjoy Mudbox and have some fun.